Hey there guys, so we're back with another video and this is after the Freem Frambozen. Uh, this is a traditional, uh, you know, take on the beer. Mm -hmm. uh, that was obviously inspired by something like this. So this is Cam Cantillon's Frambois, which they call Rosé de Gambrinus. And um, again, spontaneously fermented edition of tons of raspberries and... Um, and it obviously clearly looks different from last yeah, year. Much darker. Um, much, that's much the darker. comment I made in the last one. Like it was like a little bit of golden color with a little mm. bit of a twinge. This clearly looks like there's fruit added to it. Yes. And it has that beautiful kind of a rosy red kind of a pink, uh, pink and red color. And so this one, yeah, uh, this is what reminds me of Cantillon. Um, the the aroma is radically different from the last beer. It's yes, it's less sharp and acidic. Um, you, I mean. From smelling, you know that it's going to be a sour beer or a tart beer, but it doesn't. The last one just smelled sour. This yeah. one has so much more funk to it. Yeah, there's some funk, um, and then just like really beautiful kind of like fruit pie and fruit dessert kind of mm -hmm. notes. Like mm -hmm. it smells like there's a lot more fruit in here. If that makes any sense, and, but it's not necessarily too sweet either. It smells fantastic. Yeah. Though. Cheers. Well, cheers, man. Thanks for bringing it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's um, definitely get some like more complexity and like mm -hmm. weird flavors in there going on. Oh, jeez. So yeah, what do you what are your initial impressions? This, oh, by uh, the way, this is Will's first um, traditional lambic. So this would be lambic. like it's like fresh picked raspberries that were then maybe left in the barn for a day or two, and then you were like, oh shit, I forgot the raspberries, <laughs> and now you're eating the raspberries. It's got like so much. Um, I mean, you said this one is definitely spontaneous. Like, this is yeah. the classic style. It's so... It reminds me more of some really aged wines that I've had than any beer that I've had. It's yeah. got these really funky flavors to it that... Yeah. I've not really experienced, I would say, in American sour beers. Yeah, yeah. Most, mo most American sours don't have the depth of complexity as a traditional Bel Belgian Ooh. Lambic. And obviously that's a lot of um, the reason why they trade well and the aspirations of a lot of breweries uh, with spontaneous ferment programs. It creates like a real like umami sensation like on the tip of my tongue too. Like it's like almost making me salivate in the way yeah. that the flavors kind of are coming together. But it's it's really hard to pinpoint like any single individual flavor because of the way they're, they're mixed. There is a nice tart quality to it. Um, mm. Attached with some acidity and I'm sort mm -hmm. of feeling it on the way down. But then there is a really weird, uh, I believe, like Brett character in this one, which has uh, what I think tastes like it's like paint, glue, or like like drywall. Like I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Like walking into like if you walk into a place that's being constructed, okay, and you sort of get that smell of new stuff that's being chemicals. <laughs> like sure, sure. Is that the, is that like the, a note that you get from all Brett, or are you saying typically from this this particular one? Um, you know, it's just like. Sometimes you get it in Brett, yeah. or you don't. Um, specifically in some of the Lambics, you'll get that. It's just like funky, weird stuff going on. Again, it's way more some acidity attacking on the Very back, back of the throat. Um, it's a nice fruit character, but it's not... More fruity than the last one, but again, mm -hmm. still not jammy yet. No, no. Because some of the American Sours are packed with fruit. But th this beer to me is all about the finish. I mean, you, you swallow... Carbonation, too. And then for like 10, 20, 30 seconds, you're continuing to get these really strange occurrences of flavor mm -hmm. like and I'm feeling it on different parts of my tongue I mean I don't yeah really I mean I'm not like yeah, trained you, or anything but I'm sometimes things, feeling stuff in the back of my say tongue funk and hay and all this sometimes other stuff sometimes feeling it on the tip of my tongue and it's like just jumping all Woodiness around my too, palate oak. Um, but yeah it's a fun beer uh, and then also what I really like about this one is that there's a beautiful carbonation to it mm -hmm. this one has a little bit more prickly quality to it so it reminds me a little bit more of like a like tight bubble carbonation of like a sour or like a, sorry a champagne or something uh, but definitely more acidic more fruity and just a lot more depth of a uh, of, uh, flavor it's great yeah I mean so what, yeah, what do you think about your first impressions like what are your final my first impressions are that it's like it reminds me of the thing that it reminds me of most is I had the I had the good fortune of going to a wedding last year uh, a friend of mine who's a psalm married another psalm. Oh, yeah. And they had a wedding in Sonoma, and they yeah. were opening bottles of wine from, like, the 80s. And I had never had wine like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, I, it's so foreign to me that I don't even know how to grade it because it's, like, 
the flavors are so different. The flavors like, are so different. Like it's 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 uh, opening up a kind of like new kind of like taste. Yeah, profile and so it's like I don't even know how to put a number on this beer because like a lot of the the sours that I've had have been like from Rare Barrel or like you yeah, know we're talking about like Allagash and, more, and yeah. like this is just it's 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 like you don't even want to say that it's like better one hundred out of one hundred. It's like it's just it's a thing of its own almost. Yeah. Um, I like I like it. I think it's one of those beers that you yeah. just gotta. Just take your time with and like it, it, it's actually one of the easier ones to get I believe along with like mm. um, their uh, Creek and their Go- Goza mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm in the mood I like this let's go with the 98 98 I'm just gonna go with an NA okay I, mean, NA, I don't know how to grade it because yeah I mean I know I obviously I know the um, prestige of the brewery yeah. and I'm gonna uh, hopefully visit them in May when we go out there but uh, it's delicate. It's nice. It's it's an awesome beer. It's yeah. A great. lot of the American brews are attacking with both fruit or acidity, and this one sort of mm-hmm. plays on that very well. That balance. So, mm. uh, post a comment below about your first impressions of uh, Cantillon or some other uh, traditional Lambic producers. Until yeah. next time. Cheers.